Welcome to Crafting with Family Unit. I'm Felicia and today we're going to channel the look of the Irish and transform We Create UV printed wood into a charming St. Patrick's sign using our We Create Vision laser cutting machine. This UV printed wood is amazing and comes in a variety of solid colors as well as patterns. These will enhance your projects and save you time by not having to paint. So let's create a piece of decor that will make St. Patty himself proud. Before we start, I'd like to invite you to support our channel. Simply click the subscribe button and then the notification bell. I'm going to be using this leprechaun welcome sign I purchased from designbundles.net for this project. The link will be in the description below. I've already downloaded the design, so let's load it into WeCreate's Make It software and get started. This project downloaded with three files. So I'm going to first click on the upload button on the left navigation and I can see here are the three files that are downloaded. One is just the background. One is all the layers and pieces and parts that go onto the sign, and then one has everything in it, the background plus all the pieces and parts. I'm going to start with just the background piece first and open that up into Make It Software. And it tells me down here at the bottom that it's got a cut line and it's got score lines. I'm going to delete that piece and because it's not necessary, and I'm also going to delete the, the score lines because I'm just going to line this up myself visually. And I'm going to send this circle over to be cut on the uh, We Create Vision, but I'm first going to select the circle and click on cut and click off of that and make sure that the material I'm using is the 3M wood basswood. I'll go ahead and turn my We Create on and then autofocus it. I'll go ahead and click on autofocus. I can move my circle so it's placed nicely on that piece of um, basswood. And once I'm set, I can go ahead and click on start and send it over to be cut. Okay, let's move on to the second part where we're going to cut all the colorful pieces. And we're going to be using the We Create UV printed wood in these great colors. So we're going to go over here on the left and click on upload. And we're going to upload that second design. And these are all the pieces and parts. And what I found in um, experimenting with this is that everything that you want to cut at a particular time, because all of these pieces and parts are going to be in different colors or a grouping of colors. And in order to get the, get it to set up right, I need to move everything off of the canvas because only the things on the canvas are going to be cut at any particular time. So if I left everything on the canvas, everything would be cut on one piece of wood. Well, I want leprechaun in green and I want the belt buckle in gold and the lattice in a dark green. So I'm going to kind of group these things in the color schemes that I want and move them out of the way for the moment. All right, we're going to leave the belt, the, the piece that's going to be black for the belt on the canvas, but we'll move everything else off and get situated. So the belt is going to be black. All the pieces that make up the um, buckle are going to be gold. This piece um, will be the part that goes on the hat. The hat and the lattice are going to be a dark green and the leprechaun and um, the piece across the hat are going to be in a light green. The clover and the welcome are going to be cut on plain basswood and then painted with paint pens um, in light green and white. All right, with the black piece for the, uh, the, the belt on the canvas, we're going to go ahead and select that and we're going to click on cut because this is going to be a cut piece. I'm going to make sure that when I click off of that, that the um, material I'm using is the three millimeter basswood. And I'm ready to send this over to the machine to cut. When I do that, nothing else that's sitting off of the canvas will be cut. All right, I've got my wood loaded into my machine and I've auto-focused it. And it's a black piece of wood, so it's really hard to see, but I do have it positioned in the bottom right corner in the machine. So I am pretty confident that this is where I need to have this piece of wood, uh, this piece that I want to cut on the black wood in this position. I've got it set to cut. I'm going to click on start. Now when I click on start, you can see that the only piece that's on the canvas that's going to be cut is that piece for the belt. Everything else that's off the canvas is not part of this project. It's going to take about a minute 46. So I'm going to go ahead and send this over to be cut. All right, with the belt complete, we're going to go ahead and move that piece off of the canvas and we're going to pull in our lattice and our hat and repeat the same process. We're going to load the wood into the machine, start the cut process, mark each one of these as cut. 
and um, our material is still set at uh, three millimeter basswood and we're going to go ahead and cut this and we'll repeat this for each one of the colors. All right, we've got our wood loaded in our machine. We're going to go ahead and auto focus it. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and turn this to save on um, the amount of material I'm using and see if I can get this to fit this way. And it looks like it will. And I'll move my hat over as well. And I will then go ahead and click on start. You can see everything else that's not on the canvas besides the lattice and the hat are not going to be cut on this piece of green wood and it's going to take nine minutes and we'll send it on over. All right, so we have everything cut already. Everything looks great. I'm really pleased with it. The wood is, the colored wood is amazing. I love it. There are some burn marks on here. So I have a, a microfiber cloth that I've wet and I'm just gonna kind of rub that down and you can see the burn marks are just wiping right off with ease. That looks great. So now it's just a matter of assembling our, our sign. So we'll put this here. We'll put this here. I'll tell you that UV wood really saves time and having to paint things after the fact. Our hat. Our belt buckle. And then last but not least, we have our welcome. And we're gonna paint that white and we're going to paint the clover that goes on the hat a light green using paint pens. Right, but I think this is turning out so cute so far. Let's do the paint real quick. So I've got these Thule Art um, paint pens um, that are dual tip. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a couple of these to do my painting. So I'm gonna use this green for the, light, the clover and I'm gonna use this white for welcome. Shake it up really good, and that's the fine point tip. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use the thick tip, and I've already tested these out, and I'm just going to paint. They work really, really nicely. All right, so we have the clover painted, and we'll do the same thing with white. Pressing down to get the paint to start flowing.
We really like how this project turned out and absolutely love the We Create UV Printed Wood. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe for more fun and informative craft videos.